Hey everybody, Maria here, Fourth Dimension. Welcome to yet another week. Very exciting stuff. I am reading for the sign of Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. Gemini, I feel like you're in a really positive mood. You're looking at the brighter things in life. You have a new sense of like energy. A lot of you are single, happy to be, <laughs> happy to be single. Can relate to that, Gemini. You can. You're, but you're happy. You're just, you're content. I feel like you're like bubbly, upbeat, power. You have some power, sense of control. Tell me about Gemini. Surprise. Maybe you got a surprise or there's a surprise coming in. Um, I'm going to tell you about this in a minute. I feel like it might be an ex or somebody who like have wanted to be in a, maybe you didn't date, but somebody is, that you maybe you were attracted to is showing up now attracted to you, available. I have a uh, sweet success. That's um, really resonating with me. It's almost like a really good week, right? Like you're having surprise and it doesn't have to be somebody from your past. It could be um, you got unexpected revenue coming in. Maybe you're getting a, an upgrade in your finances um, you're getting new, new opportunities. I got a vacation here. Somebody's talking, talking to you about a vacation. Sweet success is like, it's the wheel of fortune coming in. Something you waited for. Money tree. I can't, I can't make it up. So some of the, the powerful movements going forward are all the, the seeds that you planted over a period, maybe two seasons that you've planted are now coming to fruition. So if you're a hard worker, been consistent on the job, people are recognizing it and they're coming forward offering you a bonus or maybe just a thank you gift. Um, friends and family, I think, are recognizing you. It's recognition for sure. I still feel somebody that you dated or um, were dating in the past, maybe you took a break from, they were figuring stuff out or now knocking on your door again saying, hey, <laughs> are, you still, are you still available, Gemini, for a cup of coffee or a date or a dinner? This person, I feel, that's revisiting you or... Um, rekindling maybe a conversation it could be on social media them just hitting you up off a picture i kind of see that happening um they might be just wondering if you're open to explore an opportunity maybe you were involved in something and you couldn't uh pursue this person something is now you're free you're single like i was kind of happy at the beginning of this reading going you're free you're single you're free to explore and date and try new things Figure out what's going on. I got the two. You're quitting. You're not, you're not juggling anymore. That is for sure. You made a decision on something. It's it's uh, on this Queen of Wands with the Nace of Pentacles <clears throat> and the King of Swords. Somebody, it, it, depending on your energy here, I don't know who you are in this reading, but somebody's coming forward, the Six of Pentacles, offering you more than they did. In the past, I don't think you were either ready for the relationship. They weren't ready. There was more, it's almost like, it just was like you're forcing a plant to grow, right? You're forcing all these things. You're pushy, pushy, pushy with your energy. You're just trying to manifest something. And it wasn't your time. This The person wasn't ready. Your job wasn't ready. Um, all these things weren't ready. So I feel like you just sat in your canoe, as I say, and you were just relaxed. And you might have meditated over this and saying, I still, I put my, my, my wish out in the universe. And it's... Here, here it is. And you didn't even know. It's like at your doorstep. You answer the door and it's Ed McMahon with the publisher Clearinghouse winning sweepstakes. That's kind of how it feels. It's like a nice surprise. It's, um, it's, it can be big. It can be multiple. Like it can be um, quite a few things happening this week, this month. Um, I have the King of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of of pentacles in the reverse, meaning somebody finally got off their duff, made a decision about what they wanted, quit juggling, and is going after what they want. The King of Swords is an honest conversation coming in strategic with a plan, and the Queen of Wands is, you know, you know, she's a sexy queen. She's got her shit together. Um, she runs her game. She knows exactly what she's doing this month, next month. It's a strategy that she works. And so the two of them together um, are a force to be reckoned with. It's very much 
Uh, the energy walks in the room and when it leaves on both of those counts, the energy leaves with them. So this is a powerful dynamic, uh, a dynamic duo per se, a power couple. These people, um, if it's you, you'll know exactly who it is because your energy matches their energy and this is somebody that's attracting you and vice versa. So Gemini, you could be attracting um, Aria Leo Sag, you could also be attracting Aquarius, another, you know, another you, another Gemini, it could be a Leo, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Virgo, it could be maybe a, a handful of Libras. So several of you are attracting very gregarious, but yet um, I think they match your passion, but are more reserved. You, I feel, are that energy that could just talk to anybody. Very chatty Kathy, woman, man, it doesn't matter. You're just very comfortable with communication and meeting people. And this other person's a little bit more reserved, kind of. But the balance is when they make a decision, it shit happens. Like the, the, the Wheel of Fortune is moving forward. I don't know what this is, but I feel like the King of Swords may be coming to you, male or female. It's just the energy again. The world you've ended this uh cycle this is a cycle ender for you this is exciting for me so i feel like gemini and i had i have a friend i actually have a, several friends that are gemini's and i had one specifically and um <clears throat> that i was talking to and i just see like a come up for that person as well it's the same energy as they're closing out the woe is me the negative nelly the pessimistic the nothing ever good happens in my life chapter. And they're like, you know what? I have nothing to lose but to hope and think positively. And as a result, this is somewhere in the past, you started investing in you and it's kind of coming to fruition. I don't know what that looks like, even if it's a smidge, like you're just not in entertaining negativity, negativity or negative conversation or gossip or backbiting, Blah. you know, like that, that mm, it's just toxic and that's how you see it. I just don't think you're, you've embraced this and you, you've embraced a new idea, a new, um, not a new lease on life, but really kind of a new mantra that if it isn't positive, it doesn't belong in your canoe and eat, you aren't going to accept it in your life. Fuckery is not allowed here. Like, look at this. This is kind of what I get, excuse me for the cuss word, but you know, the, that's, the, that's the seven of swords is you're not allowing deceptive actions um, coming to you. It's a page of pentacles. So somebody might be telling you about a previous commitment you were in that um, and maybe making amends with this uh, knight of swords for a handful of you, but I feel like you're gonna find out that there's some fear. The seven of swords is not just deception, but it could have been, it could have been some lies, gossip, you know, I keep feeling barbed, like barbed um, wire, like I see barbed wire mouth words. So I feel like character assassination, defamation of character. I feel like somebody slandered you, lied about you, you're who you are. Maybe said you were more uh, promiscuous than you are um, or abusive. I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's somebody's gonna come forward with an apology, uh, which I feel like you've forgiven this situation. You don't entertain it anymore. I think this chapter is closed. That kind of validates what I was feeling. You walked away from a very toxic situation. It could be family, it could be an ex, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-family member, whatever you were dealing with, ex-work. I mean, it could have been anything, but you walked away from this, survived it. Um, Listen to all the nonsense that they said about you. They're coming, somebody's coming back. I feel like this, okay, first of all, this king, I'm getting the down, this king of swords is super honest, Gemini. Uh, you can trust what they're saying. This person is like those, the solo lone wolf that's coming forward to tell you about the dirty stuff that was said. And it's not to create more problems for you. It's really to clarify, because I think you already know about some of the garbage that happened. You survived it, but they want, it's like an offering. This, this, the surprise and the gift and all this might be because you closed a cycle, you forgave these people. It's kind of coming all together like a puzzle for me in my head, but I feel like this is a gift of forgiveness and a gift of amends that they're offering. They're asking to heal this. I don't think this person was really involved, but they knew about it. So I don't think there's a forgiveness piece with them, but I think there's also a sense of like knight in shining armor vibe so this person might come forward ask for your amends because they knew of something defended you but they weren't really involved but they should have done more kind of feeling 
um, should have should have stayed and fought for you more loudly and they didn't they feel bad about it it could be a family member too I feel like family is involved somehow I don't know how for a handful of you you might this might be a family situation several of you it's a work situation um, several of you your ex was smearing your name in in the streets per se and their friend is stepping forward and saying you know what I, I wasn't a part of it but I just want to let you know it was a crappy thing to happen and I apologize etc cetera, etc cetera, because they're come they're rushing in to make this right that's what this is um, I do feel like this is in the upright for a reason and I feel like it's I need to honor that like this per I, I need to say nothing negative about this king is my point you I feel is already you've already put a world behind you on this thing so you've closed this chapter out and forgiven them um, <clears throat> more about Gemini I feel like this is justice for you I mean I can see the justice card I don't know in what fashion each storyline is different there's one flipped over there it is the four the four it fell it came I was shuffling flipped went back in so it's hidden so this person might have some hidden motives um, with their apology to come and make it not only correct with you but they may offer a foundation they may want to take you on a date just saying. That's kind of the vibe I have. Is this is a friend of, of an ex um, or a family member <clears throat> of an ex. Somebody close to your ex knew about some of the crap that was said about you. And they're going to come and uh, clear the air. And I feel like they they know more than you know, I think, about the whole situation. And they don't. I don't know if they're going to share all of that. I don't know if it's really necessary. But they're going to make it very, very well known that they were not a part of this. It's an injustice. That's why I keep seeing the justice card is they're trying to right the wrong even though they weren't the offender. They don't want you to be seeing them in the same light as you do the accused. How's that? I'm just like getting a lot of law and order terms in my, in my head when, I, when I'm doing this reading. So this person may want to take you on a vacation. This person has been very, very nervous about talking to you. This is, like I said, power couple. You guys match each other. Very intelligent, very sapiosexual here. Lots of passion, very intellectual, very strategic. You both are very um, funny. I think you're both very funny. The other person I feel is a little bit more dry than you are. A uh, little bit, a little bit more dry. Uh, like a computer programmer, you know, kind of vibe. No offense to all my computer people out there. I love my computer people. But that's kind of the vibe. Is um, So you have this really, you're very, like, got a lot of energy and a lot of excitement and you chat. All, like, you could be on the phone with your friends for an hour and you talk a mile and blah, 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 you know. And this person just sits and listens, like, the whole, <laughs> whole time. And then at the end, you might ask a question. They might get a word in. That's kind of the vibe. But they love it. They love listening and you love talking. Kind of, and flip it, switch it, reverse it. You don't, neither of you, I like, I don't think he or she wants the mic from you. I think they're just enjoying listening to your energy. Um, they're very moved by that. I have the six of wands in the reverse. They're fearful that you're not going to, um, they won't be successful. This is the fear I was feeling. They won't be successful. They won't be victorious. And you might lump this person in with all the sins of the other and not give this person a chance. This is a new person. I don't think you've ever dated. I think you know this person. Uh, I think you're going to be asked to join them. I feel at a birthday party or an event. I see a lot of people and it looks like a celebration and I hear music. So however you want to define that. But I feel like it's very warm and inviting. It's not like... Uh, it, could be, it could be an outdoor... Um, concert maybe maybe an indoor band i don't know but it's very comfortable it's very relaxing it's not work related i don't think it's stoic you know that sort of thing um so i feel like it's exciting i feel like it's uh, a night on a night three of wands you're making a decision they've been they've been planning for this this is their ships coming in you've been you manifested this a while ago maybe not with this skin suit but i do feel like you wanted this kind of relationship of trust of transparency of intimacy you put this out there this is and it's here i mean i'm not even kidding like this is a big deal um it's like your vac it's like your birthday and christmas and all the you know fun holidays that you celebrate all in one
Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. There's that world. Here's the fool. You're going to start a new opportunity, relationship, situation. You're going into a new chapter. You've released all this. This is graduation day for you. Bottom of the deck. You're healing and recovering from this Three of Swords. Um, and you're, I don't feel, uh, it's the Four of Cups. So I feel like your past person may still sit in a space of remorse. Um, and it's like the Five of Cups, right? I feel like your person might be missing you. There's still a lot of pride and dysfunction in the other person, but this person is going to help you heal that three of swords. This is very healing energy. Like I said, it's a very much a match. I think you needed this. There's that wheel of fortune. Oh, and there's that three again. So you have a wheel of fortune. Now, given it is in the reverse, meaning I feel like this person may want you to come back. Um, your ex may approach you, especially if they find out your date and their friend or family member <clears throat> or whomever this is, best friend, I don't know, cousin, neighbor, I don't know. It could be a lot of y'all. But um, that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is coming back to sp spin the block, right? Because it, this is insult to injury. Definitely uh, a bruised ego. Got like a punched in the eye kind of thing. Got a bruise on the ego. And it's, um, they should have done the right thing and they know it. They didn't. They didn't. They're the ones I feel like started the slander. They were immature. Then handle it well. Started the gossip. It's like a wildfire. It's the first person who throws a match in the in the dry forest and all of a sudden it's a raging inferno. So now you have like 20 people talking crap about you. None of them know you. They don't know the situation. They weren't there. I got the king of cups and the devil again in the reverse with temperance in the reverse and the two of swords in the reverse you're not making any choice with this person in the past page of cups they might come and want to have a conversation with you about um starting it again but you're not visiting the devil again the devil again is in the reverse is continuation of chaos why would you want to do that and you're making that decision no thank you i have the six of cups they might use nostalgia and remember when and those those good vibes i feel like you're gonna get a text from this person it could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio because it is a cup so then i have the chariot so the second they hear that you're this person is even interested in asking you out they're already making plans <clears throat> it's funny nobody's interested in you they're not interested in you but all of a sudden this person's interest in you and they lose all credibility they look like this is beyond just you dating them. This is humiliation for them because they feel like if you date their friend, they lost all credibility. Like you can't be the bad guy if your best, if their best friend is asking you out or family member, brother, maybe, um, you know, it holds no clout. In fact, they look stupid ignorant how's that is that a better word dishonest they lost credibility like i said ace of swords in the upright this is yeah they're gonna have this person's gonna have an honest conversation hangman in the reverse this guy has sat on it or a person female whatever whoever's gonna approach you has sat on this for a minute saying i know i need to do the right thing so it's in the reverse so they i feel like they're coming out of the hangman state they spend some time in it the ex isn't they're just rushing in without thought impulsively um to try to force you quite frankly to go back out with them they may be uh, I keep seeing diligent. I keep seeing um, this person from your past who did you dirty that took you forever to heal from um, is going to rush in like literally six, eight times trying to get you, send you flowers, knock on your door, text you a million times, send you music, fight with you. I mean, this is a lot and it's a, you're not willing to do it again. It's a nine of wands in reverse. You're not going to you're not getting in the ring to do this again. You're done. Your world, it's, a, it's a, like you're telling your tribe, I said what I said. It's kind of like when I get the same cards when I pull tarot out of three different decks and it's the same story. That's you. You're like, I said what I said. I'm done with this. I'm done. I'm done. You've healed from this. You um, are just enjoying. Gemini, you've done a lot of work, a lot of self-work, a lot of self-love. You might be working at the gym. You're... Um, I feel like you're just mentally in a better space. You don't feel lack in any area. You, We all have areas to improve on, but this isn't 
self-loathing or depression like I feel like you've been in in the past, this is a new chapter for you. You've released this. I'm very excited. Um, anything else for Gemini? By your next chapter. Tell me about Gemini. Ah. I have strength and I have <clears throat> the Knight of Cups and strength. So, excuse me, I'm going to lose my voice. So I feel like in the Ten of Wands, in the reverse, and the King of Cups again in the reverse now. So this is now the... Um, the not so much loving king and this guy in the upright let me just take a minute because this is just match the pictures i just talked about so the king of cups in the upright is somebody who has complete control over their emotions right um very loving king kind verbalizes their feelings <clears throat> in the reverse they're a mess <laughs> they may come in just sobbing crying and this is kind of true and kind of this is more i'm i'm sad that i'm in this in the space of getting judged by the community, by the church, by my family, by the job, by the employers, by the employees, our fellow workers. That's if you work with this person and you dated them, that's really double, double affirmation. But in the reverse is they may come and just sob to have you date them and forgive them. Um, some of it is true, but I went, I went, no, I think you're gonna have to test your intuition um, about this because I don't feel like it's, um, solid moon i feel like it's hit there there they have hidden motives of in my opinion uh inverted king of cups is somebody who is trying to get out of something by using manipulation through emotional temper tantrums and sobbing so that's kind of how i feel take it as it resonates seven of seven of wands this is how i feel the energy you came out of, but you might feel again when this person comes and sees you, his spirit's telling me to defend yourself. And it's not, I need you to defend myself. It's more like I'm standing up for myself. I'm believing in who I am and what I believe in. And I don't really necessarily agree with the things you said or did. Um, and I'm not that person. So no, I'm not, I'm not willing. I'm standing up for my own belief and I'm telling you, I'm not willing to uh, go back to in whatever that was. I'm not gonna do that or whatever the situation is, but go back to the job, go back to the relationship. Um, yeah, whatever that is, you're just not gonna, you're gonna fight for your own beliefs and your own um, values. So I have justice, there it is. And the uh, page of swords. So somebody may be um, wanting to come in and communicate a truth to you. I think it's both of these people to some extent, um, but justice will be served. I feel like there has been an injustice currently and it's going to be made right in this cycle. So this is what I got for you, Gemini. If you want to get into the details and the nitty gritty granular, feel free to um, visit my comment box below. In the description box, there's a link to go ahead and schedule a personal reading with me. And until um, also would love to have you subscribe and then hit that notification bell. It will alert you when I upload new content. So until next time, Gemini, have a great week and love and light.